this video I'm going to show you how to create word search puzzles using Word Search Printer, which is a program you can download from wordsearchprinter.com. Okay, this is what the program looks like when you start it. So I'm going to start off here and say create new word search project. And I'm going to start from a blank project, which is basically a blank grid where I can type my own words in. Um, although I do have the option of starting from ready-made projects where there's uh, already some words set up which I can then add to or delete items or um, to make my own custom word search. But here I'm going to say uh, blank to start with. Now um, I start typing in the words that I'd like to appear on the grid. And as soon as I do so, as soon as I type the first word, the grid will appear with one um, item in it, the puzzle grid. There's the word apple backwards. Uh, and I'm going to make my puzzle about fruit. So I'm going to put banana, orange, strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple. And as I'm, uh, you can see as I'm typing in the words, it's regenerating the puzzle each time. Uh, if I press update puzzle, I can also do it without, in other words, try different combinations until I get a layout that I like. You can use this option here to change the size of the puzzle. Um, obviously, it needs to be long enough to fit all the words in, so if I'm able to make it too small to fit the words, some words are too long to fit in the puzzle. I can try 10, I'm going to go back to 10 by 10, and then I can find a puzzle that I like. Um, there are also some other options here, for, for example, for changing the colour of the puzzle. Um, I can preview the, uh, the puzzle or the solution. I'm starting off with a solution. Um, I can also change word directions. So for example, if I was creating a puzzle for young children, they might find these um, diagonal and upwards words hard, like such pineapple, hard to read, hard to find, impossibly hard to find. So I could turn off some of the directions, but to make it only use the easier directions like um, down and to the left to right. Uh, if I was to do that, you'll see all the, all the words will, will, will either be left to right or down the page. Um, and I can turn that back on again, go back to all directions allowed. Uh, I can also um, change the shape of the puzzle by turning off some unused squares. Here's a, the puzzle grid, and I can, for example, um, make, make a, a, a round puzzle or uh, by making or more or less round by turning off some squares in my grid. Um, that'll do for now. Uh, obviously, if I had more time, I could make a much more sophisticated shape. If you look at our website, there are some examples of that. Uh, keep going until I get a puzzle that I'm happy with. Let's say that's my my final puzzle that I've uh, that's my final puzzle that I've settled on. Um, now I can um, uh, copy this puzzle or the solution, or the word list to the clipboard and paste them into my word processor or publishing program, um, uh, or graphics program in the case of the uh, images. So for example, if I wanted to make an image on um, uh, a magazine or something like that, I could, could uh, copy the puzzle and the solution. I can save my work to continue later, and I can also print out uh, from within the program itself uh, the um, puzzle solution and word list. So I'll do print preview so you can see what the printout would look like. Okay, the first page is the puzzle. So you, you know, if you're a um, teacher or a parent, you could give this to your um, uh, your kids, your children, students, to, for them to try and find the words. The next page is the list of words. Again, you'd give that to the people who are trying to solve the puzzle. And the next page here is the solution to the puzzle. And that's really all there is to it. If you go to bingo, um, wordsearchprinter.com, you can download a free trial version of the software. Um, and if you like it, you can upgrade to the full version of the program, uh, which allows you to do everything that you've seen in this video and a lot more besides. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Go to wordsearchprinter.com and try